Hey, what's up, AP World? We have a video for you today on the Lincoln-Douglas debates, which occurred in 1858. And if you look at the bottom, you'll see there was a stamp that recognized the 100-year anniversary of the Lincoln-Douglas debates. And if you're like me, you're thinking, that is so cool. A stamp cost four cents back then. How about that, huh? Boy, a price has gone up. All right, let's talk about some key events prior to 1858. In 1854, we have the Kansas-Nebraska Act, which leads to a series of events known as Bleeding Kansas. I have a video on Bleeding Kansas if you want more information, and you can check that out in the description below. The Kansas-Nebraska Act was proposed by Senator Stephen Douglas from Illinois. In 1857, we have the one of the most famous court case decisions ever, the Dred Scott decision, in which this man, Dred Scott, sued his owner's wife for freedom. So Dred Scott, a slave, sued for freedom since he lived in a free territory. He lived in Illinois and Wisconsin. So on that basis, he said he should be free. It goes all the way to Supreme Court, which is under the control of Chief Justice Roger B. Taney at this time. And the Supreme Court rules the following. One, that Scott was not a citizen of the United States, and therefore he could not sue. So instantly, as a result of this decision, every African American living in the United States was deemed not to be a citizen. Slaves were also deemed to be property. And according to the Constitution, the Fifth Amendment, property could not be taken away. So Tawney argued that Dred Scott could not be free because that would take away property from his owner. And part of the text of the Fifth Amendment says, nor be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. So again, because slaves are deemed property by the Supreme Court, they could not be taken away. This is easily one of, if not the worst, court case decision in United States history. So let's go to the Lincoln-Douglas debates in 1858. Well, Abe Lincoln was chosen by the Republicans to challenge Stephen Douglas for the Senate seat. Upon accepting the nomination for by the Republicans, Lincoln gave his famous House Divided speech. In part of this excerpt, you've probably heard it, Lincoln says the following, I believe this government cannot endure permanently half slave and half free. I do not expect the Union to be dissolved. I do not expect the House to fall. But I do expect it will cease to be divided. It will become all one thing or all the other. So he's essentially saying the country cannot go on living half free, half slave. It either has to become entirely slave or entirely free. He will give this speech again later, but he first gave it in 1858. So Lincoln challenges Douglas to a series of seven debates in seven different cities throughout the state of Illinois. However, at that time, it's important to note that the state legislatures elected the U.S. Senators. It was not the citizens of the state. That does not happen until 1913 with the 17th Amendment. You want a little trick? Do you remember how senators get elected by the people? Start spelling senators. S-E, you can stop right there. The 17th Amendment starts with S-E as well. Yeah, I know, so does the 7th, but you know what? Just work with me here, okay? All right, let's go to the Freeport Doctrine. And the second debate occurred in Freeport, Illinois. And this is this has huge ramifications to Freeport Doctrine. Please make sure you know this at all costs. So Lincoln asked Douglas if, a, if slavery could be limited in spite of the Supreme Court's Dred Scott ruling. So this is a year later. Lincoln essentially is asking... Douglas, the man who advocates popular sovereignty or the belief that individuals living in a territory should decide if slavery should be – if that territory should be free or slave, can territories go against the ruling? And Douglas, again, an advocate of popular sovereignty, said yes. And this is what he said in a speech. I answer emphatically, as Mr. Lincoln has heard me answer a hundred times from every stump in Illinois, that in my opinion, the people of a territory can – by lawful means, exclude slavery from their limits prior to the formation of a state constitution. So this is not a new idea, this Freeport Doctrine. Douglas had, had said this before many times. But because there was so much attention on these debates, it, it brings national attention to what was said. So in essence, Douglas said that territories and states can pass laws that defy the federal government. The South is going to be up in arms with this because the federal government over the previous decades has been deemed to be superior to the state government. So you cannot defy federal laws. And essentially, that is what Douglas is arguing here, that territories can, if they choose, pass laws that would prohibit or limit slavery. And that is going directly against the Supreme Court's decision.
Okay, so what are the results and the effects of these debates in the election? Well, Douglas wins the election in 1858, and the Democratic Party is further split along sectional lines. And the South is going to, from this moment forward, if they had any sort of trust for Douglas, which they really didn't, but this cements and they will not trust him at all. And if you look at going ahead a few years to the 1860 presidential map, you see that, that Douglas does not win a single southern state except for Missouri, which is a border state, um, but some of these deep states down here, he does not win at all. The Democrats choose in, that, in those southern states, John C. Breckinridge. Even though he lost, Lincoln becomes well-known nationally. He, he, inst he becomes an overnight sensation and really one of the front runners for the 1860 Republican nomination, which he ultimately does win. All right, that's everything you need to know about the Lincoln-Douglas debates. Thank you very much for watching. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Help me spread the word. If you know anybody who would benefit from this video, please share it with them. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I will get back to you. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much, and have a good day, guys.